now i would love us to look at sl which is stop loss stop loss okay so this is actually an automated um price where we're gonna set and say here i don't want to lose more than here right which is in this case you do have to determine how much money 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 you are willing to risk which is say in this case you're willing to risk ten dollars ten rand ten pound ten uh, euros it depends but here i'm not converting the currencies right i'm just putting them as like they are one they are like the same right okay all right and then here to set the stop loss right to set the stop loss it's simple right is either we can buy set the stop loss later all right or we can use orders such as like this order here of buy limit here all right the buy limit has a stop loss so we're gonna say stop loss tap there and then we can we can move this part of a, a stop loss down here this part of a stop loss down here the buy limit of simpleness that when the market comes here it will act it will activate this and then it tends to be a buy and then it will continue go up if it continue going down it's gonna come here and close the trade right simple it's the same as the sell limit okay it's the same as the sell limit if we move it up here it's gonna change to be a sell limit I believe we can see now it's a sell limit because it's above so if it comes here and uh, i've modified it here with and say yes i accept and say place it's going to be a sell limit an order that is going to happen once the market comes here and activate it simple it's like that all right okay it's going to tend to be a sell or you can press this icon over here and buy and sell now simple straightforward all right and then later on setting the stop loss you see now our trade is going to be activated once this line over here now is already a sell see now our sell is on see we have our sell now all right okay simple so setting stop loss how can you do it it's simple because i you know with the laptop for me i prefer it if you're someone who doesn't uh um, i prefer using the laptop why because it's giving me the freedom to actually count simple so if i can put it like this you can see the 21 points can you see the 21 points let's say right now you have entered to trade it will be able to show you how much money you're risking simple is like that all right if you placed a buy if you place the sell stop loss you know it has to be above if you have placed a buy if the stop loss has to be below here simple it's like that all right okay so here uh we got accounts but um it's much a bit of a work for counting so let's do it so that everybody can understand how to count all right okay so we're gonna tap here on the cell right we're gonna adjust our stop loss first and uh remember our stop loss must be above so you cannot actually modify the stop loss it must be above so let's say stop loss there all right and then we're gonna press this button over here and then say modify and then now we have two prices with the stop loss you need two prices uh two prices price a price b price a is an entry is the price where you entered which is an entry and price b it's an exit meaning that is where you the trade is going to be at lost uh at, at that price all right okay at this price so now to come to this simple very 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 simple very simple very simple but it's it's a bit of a work okay so we're gonna say zero point this is an exit we're gonna start with an exit we will start with the bigger number remember so that we don't have negative here and then which is zero uh, zero point ninety twenty four uh six okay minus the price where it's an entry let's zoom in here because we cannot see it well here it's under here you can see this price here which is zero point zero point ninety ninety two zero i think it's six it's six yes now you see six this price all right okay so we, when we're minusing these two prices we're gonna get the answer here so that's what we're gonna use two times so now the trade is gonna be closed if it's gonna hit there 
right? So we're gonna come here again, uh, on under calculator. Let's use a calculator very fast and say 0 0.90 to 46 minus 0 0.90 to 0 0.06, and then we have 0 0 0 0.0 0 0.004. Okay, this is our answer, all right. And then we, we cannot just count it like this. What we need to do for us to count it, uh, it's not yet closed. Okay, it's not yet closed, but we need to just... So we're going to come to code slayer here, and then we're going to tap and hold. And then we're going to come to properties. Under properties, what we're looking for is the contract size. For those who don't understand about contract size, there's a lesson on the browser, um for a trader or browser trader on YouTube so that you can understand and learn about the contract size right okay then we have the contract size of 1000 100,000 not 1000 sorry 100,000 okay so we're gonna go back and then we're gonna come here on the USD chef you see our trade is going to be closed very soon we have a set of 0 0.01 so we're gonna say 0 0.01 times the contract size because this is a volume and the asset they are working on a, a contract base right so we're gonna say 0 0.01 times by 100,000 which is gonna give us 1,000 right now that we have 1,000 we're gonna say 1,000 times the 0 0.4 1,000 which is gonna give us 0 0.4 and this money is in chef remember when we're moving from chef to USD we divide when we move this way going back we're dividing when we're moving forward we're times it so we're gonna say uh divide by this price that we that the trade is going to be closed at see it's almost hit it's almost hit almost hit it's gonna close anytime soon it's if it touches there and then it's gonna close so you're gonna say divide by this price and then let's do it fast and this is 0 0.4 divide by this price of 0 0.9206 then we have equals to 0 0.44 and we have two uh, uh, numbers after the um the what a decimal yes decimal place two numbers after decimal place something like that but anyway we have two numbers after uh, the comma right okay so now we have this is the risk the stop loss so that's how you count it right it's simple you can uh, move it up it's up to you you want you know, to move it up here but you need to calculate it you see it's already closed so this is the profit that we calculated this is the profit and this is the profit we converted it to uh, usd because our account here is in usd our account is in usd that's why we need to convert it if it's in za we need to convert it still to za so we're going to come to usd za and search usd za and then we're going to do uh, remember we're moving from uh, uh chef so we're going to have to use um usd so now we have the usd we're going to use the usd za so we are moving from uh usd so we need that we need to times so we're going to times this by the current price whether it's 18, whether it's 19, point what, 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 and then you get the answer. Same as the, uh, it applies to the same other currencies, right? So this is how you count the stop loss. And uh, this also applies to take profit. It's the same thing. Even if you buy, even if you sell, even if you sell, buy stop, sell stop, whatever, it's the same procedure for counting, all right? But there is a way for you to count, okay? You can take the difference or the four which is four like that right and then if it's four like this it's gonna be um times by 0 0.01 so we're gonna say four four times by um sorry four times 0 0.01 you see now we have the 0 0.04 chef and then you convert it just like that but the only issue with that with this is that when you're counting other uh, asset you're going to have a, a, an issue when it comes to counting so please uh, use this method because this is the fastest me method to use this is our point these are called points the different in price whether they are 
500, whatever. 